So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a Sertling Core farm. This will also give you coal. The drop rates for this are very good. It's very simple to make, and it can be AFK. So you can literally just have this going overnight very safely. You're not going to die or anything, and you're going to get a ton of Sertling Core and coal from this. Safe to say, once you've built this farm, your Sertling Core and coal needs will be met forever. So let's see how we make it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to, of course, find yourself one of these Sertling spawner areas. And you can see all the Sertlings here will spawn near this fire geezer thing over here. Just to say, these Sertling spawners can be found in the swamp biome if you want a full swamp guide i have one on my channel and i will link it in the pinned comments uh, so once you've got one of those you're going to need to do a lot of clearing out of the area around it and obviously while you're doing that the certlings are going to attack you as such make sure you take good armor and good shields and some weapons and stuff to fight back while you're here also if you've defeated bone mass it's not a bad idea to activate your bone mass ability whilst you're here um, and if not activate your ike throw ability just because it will help you with having extra stamina things like being rested and having good food and that as well are also so useful they're not too difficult these guys and as you start clearing out the area they'll get easier as you guys are going to see in a minute because their weakness is water and that is how we're going to get the better of them so the next thing to do then is to just start clearing this out so we're going to go ahead and uh, get right up next to the spawner area here and we're going to dig down now if you're lucky like me then you'll have water around the area already now this isn't as difficult as you might think because we are in a swamp at the end of the day and there's a lot of water in the swamps and this water doesn't need to be too deep all it needs to be is make sure there is actually water in the whole way around it so i just keep digging out like i do right here until we've got water the whole way around and i'll show you what that looks like once that's done incidentally do make sure you get right up close to it like i'm doing right here the sort of like the fire will still be coming out almost like from underneath the water as you can see here so you do want to make sure that you dig a good area around it and have it completely flooded you want no areas at all where certlings can be safe they have to be in water at all times from the moment that they spawn so at this stage you should have something that looks a little bit like this and just to say you don't need to dig out like a huge area around the spawner because they don't actually spawn that far away from the fire i've been testing this for a little while and they always seem to spawn in the water here and you can see like we haven't gone that far now the next thing to do is set up an area to afk this and so here is what i recommend that you do find yourself one of these trees like this that cannot be cut down and build off the ground that'll ensure that no mobs can get up to you and you can run and jump up like this and just sort of build around the tree you see the way i've done it here obviously yours will depend on the tree that you've got and that sort of thing but just get yourself up here like this and we're going to make a little house up here i didn't want to build the house just yet i wanted to show you guys this is roughly the distance we're looking at from where the uh the fire is there now i've stood on this block right here so as close as i can get on here to the spawner and i can confirm they still spawn from this distance and if you're a little bit further back they still spawn as well so this will give you a rough idea in game of the kind of distance we're looking at to be away from them so what i did is made a little uh viewpoint here so i can see down to the certain spawner and we just got a basic house here now if you guys wanted to you can really go to town with this i mean having like a portal in here would be a good idea and i'm going to set that up later so i can come here grab a load of coal and certain cores and portal back whenever i need to but you can have like a bed and a fireplace and stuff like that if you want it as well what we're going to do though is i'm going to wait here now for literally an hour we're going to afk and we'll see what drops we get so right now on me i've got this stuff here let's put this up in here so we can like separate this and then in a second you'll see the hour of afk and, and how much of the stuff more we get once we've done that okay so it has now been an hour i'm going to go see how much certain core and coal we've got and i've left all my stuff here so we got our inventory nice and clear to make this very simple to see what the drop rates are exactly now just to say obviously for the hour that i was doing this i literally just sat there and waited but while you're doing this you could of course be chopping down trees in the area or fighting some of the other mobs the draggers and things like that to get their drops so as well as all the stuff that we're about to get here all of those drops are potentials to be grinding out for that hour because as long as you're nearby then things uh yeah the certlings they will spawn and my goodness this is actually quite a lot i was already seems like more than i was expecting for this uh okay we're gonna be carrying too much let's just try and make sure we pick it all up and doesn't matter if i'm encumbered for a second just while i show you guys the drop rates here uh but uh, yeah this is looking pretty good for an hour right uh is that everything all right we're completely encumbered we can no longer move let's see what we got so 10 20 so 29 uh certain cores there and then 50 150 171 of the coal and we even got four of the certain trophies so pretty decent drops for like an hour i mean if you were to afk this overnight you times all this by eight i mean you know if you say you're asleep for like eight hours that's quite a lot for doing literally nothing and as i say you could be going around this whole time chopping down trees or fighting other mobs or whatever so i gotta say i'm pretty happy with these drop rates guys what do you think let me know in the comments if you reckon this is good drop rates or not uh, but hopefully this is and hopefully something that is going to help you guys out so that's it guys the certain farm that's how we're going to do it and uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful if you did please do consider dropping a like it truly is greatly appreciated 
And if you want more videos like this, more Valheim stuff, then please do consider subscribing as I do a lot of Valheim content. And little little thing to say here, I do have something really exciting coming up with Valheim, which I think you guys are going to love. I can't wait for that, and I hope to see some of you around on that in the next few weeks. You guys will hear more about that. If you want more information, all my links, like my Discord and stuff, are down in the description as well. Uh, but as you know, if you're a regular viewer, guys, it's now time for the dad jokes. So before this episode, I actually watched a documentary about people who walk on fiery hot coals. It was soul destroying. I was actually going to try walking on the burning hot coals myself, but uh, I got cold feet. <laughs> you know what the uh, the daddy fire said to the baby fire? You're too young to smoke. Oh yeah, guys, pretty, some pretty hot dad jokes there, right? I I don't know. Did people even enjoy these? <laughs>